Maria do Socorro Azevedo, 60, has instructed a lawyer to act nearly five years after she first launched a paternity lawsuit. In his will, Brazilian football ace Pelé, who died aged 82 in 2022 following a battle with colon cancer, recognized the possibility that he could have had another child. He is said to have agreed to a DNA test. However, he died before it could take place. But Augusto Miglioli, a lawyer for Pele's family, said they would contest any exhumation demand because previous DNA tests had shown Maria was not the star's daughter. Three times wed Pele officially had seven children, although one is a stepdaughter. Two of his children, football coach and former player Edinho Nascimento, 53, and Flavia Cristina, agreed to take DNA tests. According to news reports yesterday, Maria's lawyer, Marcos Fernando dos Santos Souza, said the initial results were negative. However, he said Maria's DNA test showed high possibilities of a blood link. Mr. Dos Santos Souza said there was now no option but to request the exhumation of Pele's body to resolve the situation. On Sunday, Maria told a TV program she was not interested in Pele's money. She said her late mother fell pregnant with her after a fling in São Luís, in the Brazilian state of Maranhão. But she never told the former Santos forward. Maria, from Piauí State, in the country's northeast, said she first decided to do a DNA test in 2019, when she was working as a maid in the city of São Paulo. Pele, whose net worth when he died was said to be around £78 million, left 30% of his estate to his widow and third wife, Marie Karaoke. Another 60% was to be split between his children and 10% to two grandchildren.